Yesterday, I praised Secretary Gates. I praised the uh, Admiral Mullen for their concern for the injured. And I want to praise you both, as well as the Secretary of Navy and Marine Corps sitting here today. And I want to say to you, Commandant Conway, you and your wife have earned the love and respect of the Marine team. I heard this as frequently as yesterday. I spoke to a couple of ladies down at uh, Marine Wives down at Camp Lejeune. What I want to bring to you very quickly is that there is a process and a treatment to help our soldiers and our Marines and our Navy. When they have PTSD, when they have uh, TBI, and it's called hyperbaric oxygen treatment. I would like to ask you both, and maybe the Secretary of Navy and Marine Corps sitting there today, I would like to ask you both your opinion, because I will tell you I was pleased with Admiral Mullen. He is going to have someone to come meet with me. He wants to see what we can do to move this study quicker than what it's taken now. Admiral, are you familiar with this process? Yes, sir, I am, and uh, the Commandant and I have talked about this in the, uh, in the past. And uh, the comment that I made to him, and even though there may be some who can question the efficacy of it, my comment, if I recall, and Jim, if you want to uh, add to it, was if, 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 it, if it can help, if it may help, I'm in. So that's where I am. I believe that we should, for our people, explore every avenue that we can uh, to help them recover from what are really becoming some signature wounds of, of this war that we're in. Thank you. Sure. I, uh, as, as, as I travel about, uh, you can imagine a lot of people approach me with this idea or that in terms of how to treat T TBI or PTSD. Uh, but I will tell you, I, uh, I have seen none out there that I'm more encouraged by than what I would call at this point the ad hoc results of hyperbaric treatment. Now, to the point where we have put the Assistant Commandant of the Marine Corps in charge of trying to uh, speed the process of the protocol that, that Navy medicine must necessarily accomplish in order to rapidly bring this to treatment level for our Marines that we think are, are affected. In the meantime, uh, there is a doctor down in uh, New Orleans uh, who treats people, uh, and through some of our charitable organizations and so forth, uh, we have sent forward those Marines suffering that we thought might be suicidal to get them into a treatment regimen because it can't hurt. It can only help. Uh, and so even in those cases, we're encouraged by some of the things that we're seeing. So we, we think that, that we're on to something here. Well, I want to thank Com Mr. Commandant, you and the Admiral for your statements. I wanted to get that on the record because I intend to work with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to push this treatment for those uh, in the Army and the Marine Corps, and I would really appreciate your, your commitments uh, to our men and women in uniform, and thank you for those statements. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I will yield back, and thank you again for your statement earlier. Thank you. Uh